This is the Horse Radio Network. Greetings, horse people. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily. Today, Hillary Moore Hebert, senior editor of Dressage Today magazine and dressagetoday.com, joins the Dressage Radio Show co-hosts Reese Kofler Stanfield and Philip Parks for some advice on how not to become a ring sour rider. And we'll get right to our tip after this important message from Wintech. Looking for a saddle that's affordable, durable, and comfortable for you and your horse? It sounds like you're looking for a Wintech. Wintech saddles combine world leading innovations and high tech materials in a lightweight, weatherproof, and easy to care for saddle. The comprehensive Wintech range offers not only cutting edge designs, but also reaches new standards in fit, comfort, and performance benefits for both you and your horse. It's easy to see why Wintech is the world's number one synthetic saddle brand. With styles for any discipline and confirmation, there's a Wintech saddle for you. Visit Wintech-saddles.com today to view Wintech's full range of saddles and reach a new level of comfort for you and your horse. Talk to us a little bit about the tip you wanted to give everybody. Yeah, I think, you know, it's really interesting because and not only do I kind of experience this because even though I'm a professional and I'm competing, um, you know, I do carry a full-time job with the magazine uh, and it's something that then I become kind of aware of because of that. And, um, you know, I have a full barn of clients that I have in training and all of them mostly work. Uh, and so it's really interesting for me to see all the ways that they juggle things. Um, You know, the one thing that I noticed in particular that I think is really helpful is uh, to have it be that you have a very structured schedule because I think people try to kind of overcommit because the guilt of not being able to be out all day long. And um, they say, you know, I'm going to go out and I'm going to ride every single day. But I think it becomes then by Thursday and Friday, you've like been going on and on and on and it's day after day. And even if you haven't been riding, you have just been going out to the barn. And especially with show season, you get to the point where you don't have a day off. And I think it's really important to figure out whether it's a show schedule where you say, okay, next weekend I get all the weekend off. I'm not going to schedule other things to do. I'm just going to go out to dinner with my husband or go to the beach and I'm not going to ride that weekend or, you know, Mondays are going to be the evening that I'm going to maybe leave work and just go home and kind of relax. I'm definitely not going to go to the barn, but I think you need to have your eye on the goal of not only when you're going to be riding and training and competing and being at the barn, but I think you also need to look at, you know, that definable time that you get a break so that you don't, what I kind of like to say is you don't become a rider that becomes ring sour. So uh, I was curious. You don't yeah. want to, you don't want to burn little, out, right? Yes. Yeah. Where you're like, Oh my gosh, I have to wake up at 4 a.m. Again, instead it's like, I get to ride, I get to wake up at 4 a.m. Cause I get to ride my horse at a show today. You want to feel excited because if you go into it feeling burnt out, it's going to be really hard. And I wanted yes. to hear what you guys had, you know, it just in terms of your students and, also, I think for us, it's, you know, juggling. How do you guys prevent that, you know, ring sour rider thing that we have going on sometimes? Yeah, I think in the summer, too, you know, it, it gets so busy, you know, starting here and end of March till, uh, you know, till about now. We have usually a little break in July. We have Young Riders and Pony Club and a bunch of things that happen here in July, but it, it it's hot. So we usually take a little bit of break in July to mid-August and then we go at it again and we're at it again September, October into November. So um, and, and I, I've have been someone because I I have done horses all the time. You know, I, I know myself and I know that I can get a little ring sour. You know, I do. I I just get tired. I need, I need a break. I I love to do other things in my life. And, uh, my husband is not a horseman. He, you know, God bless him, lives in a barn for me and has made a lot of sacrifices in his life for me to do this as a career. So there are a couple of things that I do um, that I think I, sometimes people are shocked I have them, but I have barn hours where um, it's very clear when you come to train here, unless we've made some sort of arrangement, barn opens at eight, 
and I want everybody out by five um, because I live here. There's somebody here 24 hours a day. The horses are very well taken care of, but there's a time where, you know what, I, I want to walk around with a glass of wine and, and not see all my clients or, you know, I want to be able to grow out with my husband and have it be quiet. And I don't always finish at five. I sometimes go off property and teach or I do, I have lessons later. Um, but my barn starts to wind down for all the clients here at about five. And that works for my group because most of the horses are in training and, and I don't have people that come after work. So that, that works for me. Um, and then I actually, when I'm home, I take Sundays off. And I am pretty off. I mean, it really, my assistant is here. She has her job is to run the barn on Sunday. Um, if there's an emergency, she needs to call the vet first and then she can call me. Uh, and she is very respectful of my time with my husband. And that may be, you know, sleeping in or it may be hanging out or whatever it is that, that I try to spend Sundays with my husband and, and really try to, to cut the horsey time down. So that's what works for us. And it's very important for me that, that I spend that time time with him and, and, or my family or, or whatever I want to do. So that's how I deal with it. And, uh, there are times when, uh, I don't get a day off because of horse shows. Um, uh, and then, you know, I just try to suck it up a little for myself. Cause again, I I'm self-employed so I can say, okay, or, or I'll take a little time Monday afternoon off. So that's what I do. Philip, what do you do? I work and work and work. <laughs> Whatever you didn't work our, for three our months. Our show season is so short. It's yeah. like end of May till you know beginning September, something like that. So you know when I'm busy, like right now, like no days off, just go go go. I, you know, I might complain now and again about it, but like I, I really don't mind because you know it's. But uh, then you have the winter. Yeah, because have the winter. we have the winter, right? And in the winter, yeah. I we travel. Me and my wife, we travel. We we go places. We do different stuff. And that's the time just to, you know, take the breaks and relax. But, you know, really in the summer, it's about it's about work. And, we you know, you just nose to the grindstone. And and uh, it's fun. Like, the weather is finally nice to ride in. We go to shows. I really love showing. I'm a super competitive person. So, I don't, you know, like, I don't really feel like it's work. So, I mean, I get tired, you know, end of the day. You know, I, I sleep better in the summer. But, like... <laughs> You know, I don't mind. I don't mind it. So I, you know, I don't really experience that ring sour thing because it's only you know a few weeks, and then then it's all over, and I I get sad, and and then we take our rest, and you know, and when it's February and it's minus, you know, twenty or minus thirty or whatever, then it's not you know okay that day we don't ride the horses or whatever, and th- and that's when it's time for time off and for for family and and doing other things. So. Yeah, I you know like it's you just take it for what it is and get your time in while you can and and uh you know I don't I don't mind being busy super busy right now. So um it's just different, you know, the climate has a big thing to do with it mm-hmm. where we are. It's so true. That's, that's all, you know, that's yeah, all I, we can do. I never noticed that I uh, grew up in Massachusetts and we did have the shorter show season and it it's interesting you bring that up because I Never noticed that, and I don't know if it's just because I was younger and had more energy or something, but it definitely I noticed as you go south, the, the show season is just, you know, we start with recognized shows in April, go through November, and now with nationals, you know, you're talking about going way longer than um, people are going to Wellington, um, and I think it's really interesting that whether you're doing that or not, I think that, um, you know, for the typical adult amateur that just feels a lot of pressure to go every single week, come out and ride and ride and ride. Um, I, I really liked that idea that was said earlier of travel, because that's something my husband and I, every single year, um, you know, in the winter time when it's freezing and there's nothing to do here, we uh, ferret away all our extra money and we go to some weird place. We went to Cambodia last year um, and then, you know, stay in hotels that cost like 40 bucks and dinners like $5. But just to have that time away that like there's not a horse in sight, there's not work in sight. And you just, I mean, literally in that case, you're on the other side of the world, but just going someplace that's different and that you can kind of just clear your mind of things, I think is also really important, whether it's going to visit your family, or just kind of being out of that pressure because whether you're professional or an amateur, you know, all of us are essentially living in a structure of like a professional athlete that's training all the time. So 
I think it's an important thing to do that as well. Yeah, totally agree. Absolutely. And that about wraps it up. If you enjoyed Reese and Philip chatting about all things dressage, you can tune in every week at dressageradio.com. Or even better, you can have all of your favorite Horse Radio Network shows with you wherever you go by downloading the free app for iPhone or Android. Just go to your app store and search Horse Radio Network. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. (laughs) 